I want to know the answer to the question, how dangerous can a ceiling fan be? So I did what any logical person would do. I went out and bought a ceiling fan, mounted it upside down inside a room, and bought vegetables. Various expensive vegetables. To get started, the first thing I had to do is figure out how to assemble the ceiling fan upside down securely, where I could throw stuff at it. Once the ceiling fan was together and working, oh, it was time oh to see God. how fast it spun. This is gonna be so crazy. Oh my god, that's going so fast! I was very disappointed because it looks like this thing's going super fast, but the tips of the blades are only traveling about 24 miles per hour. But luckily, I had an idea. To make the fan as dangerous as possible, we are going to turn the blades like this. You see how they're angled right now? Well, we're going to turn them to where they're flat. They're going to cut through the air much faster. After I flattened all the pedals, I could notice a huge difference in speed. Oh my god, it's going so much faster! The tips of the blades are now going 38 and a half miles per hour, which is 60% faster than last time. This first test is going to be a tomato. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my god! This is a clean slice! What? Let's try it again. Three. Two, one. That is scary. That is freaking scary. We're gonna try something a little bit harder. We're gonna try a cucumber. Oh, three, two, one. What in the freaking world? It just chopped it up. I don't even know where it went! During the test, I couldn't believe how clean the cuts were. I mean, even the angle cuts, the blade sliced through like a knife. Okay, let's do this one more time. Three, two. <laughs> Alright, right here I have a zucchini. Three, two, one. Don't break my fan! Even this huge zucchini was no match for the blades. Oh, holy crap! It's perfectly cut! Three, two, one. I'm terrified to let this go. This is a honeydew melon. Really heavy and really hard. And I think the fan's about to break. Guys, the pedal didn't even break. The mount for the pedal completely broke right here. It almost made it through, but then when it flipped, the second was just too much for it to bear. Uh, I didn't think the fan was going to break like that. So, in an effort to give you guys a good video, I went back to Lowe's and bought another fan where I could have five extra pedals. Then I replaced the broken parts and we were good to test the watermelon. Melon, dropping in in three, two, one. Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. This thing really broke two pedals. So I replaced them and tried again. Three, two, one. The melon stopped the fan dead in its tracks so fast that it sent the other pedal into the wood, literally tearing it off. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I broke the pedal! What? No way. But for the last test, I wanted this fan spinning as fast as possible. Oh yeah. Four pedals. Oh my god. So that's what I came up with. A one pedal fan. Of death. I'm gonna use this cantaloupe thing, whatever it's called. Here we go. The tip of the blade is now going 60 miles per hour. That's more than double the original speed. This will make you die. And now it's my job to drop this brick like squash into its path and hope it doesn't fly off and kill me. Oh god. Just clipped it. Here we go again. Three, two, one. Oh! 
Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Look at that! Oh my god! This is super, super hard. Like this, this fruit, the hardest fruit that I bought. It's like twice, three times as hard as the watermelon. And it went halfway through. Guys, this is insane. Well guys, there you have it. Ceiling fans are actually pretty dangerous. This vegetable right here is super hard. Listen. It is hard. If this was your forehead, you would definitely, definitely need stitches. Buy some merch, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next Monday. Peace out.